it's Zena or Hog Princess and welcome to another lug haul. This stuff comes mostly from Lug Live. I might have grabbed an item or two from luglife.com. But anyway, it's come. I do have some more items on order that haven't arrived yet. They'll get here when they get here, whatever. Um, yeah. So the first two items is a re-release of these beauties. This is the jib. I've got black large dot and crimson large dot. These are just a great multifunctional accessory piece. You can put jewelry, medicine, toiletries, um, snacks, um, crafts, pencils, pens. I mean, you can use it for so many things. You can use it as a miscellaneous pouch in your purse or your backpack. Um, these are very much <laughs> reminiscent of my summer travels with um, Disney and whatnot, but not exclusively for that. I have some other black dot stuff and I just think mixing and matching the dots is fun. Um, these have that interior that is clear plastic lined over the faux Disney circles and lines that sometimes form like a near Mickey head look, like this one over here in the corner. Let's see if I can show you right there. It's not a Mickey head, but by gosh, it kind of looks like one. There you go. So I got two jibs to add to my collection. They're just a great multifunctional piece, like I said. And sometimes I completely pattern palooza, mix and match colors all together. All right, next thing I got, Lug did come out with new pens. This is the three pack C collection. Um, so you can see obviously it's Sea Life Blue, but we have Sea Life Blue, Nautical Navy, and Stars and Shells Navy. The pens are metal, they're very nice, well balanced, and they write really smoothly. They're a lot like the Vera pens now, which I like. Um, I like that you can buy different sets. I kind of wish you could just buy them all individually because sometimes in the set you maybe just want it for one color and you have to buy the whole set. Uh, it's not that bad, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Great deal if you can catch them on sale. But speaking of cruising, I do have one more cruise this year in December, it's a sister cruise. Um, so I got the pens, it was on my brain. I also got these new items. This is the tricycle. It's three pouches. So the, uh, the tricycle. It is machine washable, multi-use organization, reliable gun metal hardware. Yeah, okay. Um, but they're the freestyle material. So very lightweight, kind of a sort of meshy type feel to them. They have a little lug tag on them. And I have... They come all three inside one pouch, but let's look at these. They are quite large. I do kind of think they're a great size for like washing your unmentionables, uh, for organizing, like put your socks and stuff in one, your bras and underwear in another for your packing maybe. Uh, but I have packing cubes for that. Um, even so, if you did it that way, then you'd have your mesh bag to wash your bras in or whatever. Um, but yeah, you could, they're not waterproof or anything. They're just nice, flexible organization with a zipper. That's it. So this is the large one. Let's see, I think. This one. Which one's next? They're, they are pretty big. <laughs> so let me get these lined up side by side by side. There's the large and medium next to each other. As you can see, a couple inches in each direction. And the small, there you go. So it is three different sizes, small, medium, and large. They are proportionally larger, each one. And they all are constructed exactly the same. They just have that zipper. They're not lined or anything, but they're, they're very, very packable. So, I mean, there you go. Easy to store, easy to pack. And I'm, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use them day to day or even when traveling. But I am going to use them, and I got my sister a set too, for it, since we're going on the cruise together, and hers is exactly the same as mine. <laughs> so, she can make her own decisions, but that's cool. Okay, now, the other new things, because there's been a lot of new things, I know, y'all. Um, and don't come at me about the packing, shipping stuff, because I have nothing to do with it, and I can't fix it. And I'm living the same pain. This is not new. This is the Metro. This is, uh, what is this, Rosewood or something? Let me see if I can see the color. I haven't used this one. Yeah, Rosewood. So this one came with one of the surprise boxes. It's a lot like the Vera Bradley Zip IDs, 
not exactly the same, but very similar. Um, but this one at least, and I don't know, I don't know, because this is the only Metro that I own, I don't know if they're all constructed like this or if this was um, a whoopsie, I don't know. Because zip IDs are what are they're rectangular, but if you can tell, this one is kind of a trapezoid. So the top is narrower than the bottom. And so this doesn't open well enough. It's, it's a, a little harder to get cards in and out of it because it doesn't open wide enough. And I don't know if it's just because it, it's constructed incorrectly, but it does, it's, it's, it goes like that. Anyways, um, so I haven't used it. I think it's great for other things maybe, but just hasn't been on my grab. Plus I've been gone all summer. But the reason I brought this out is because I got the new Metro XLs and I, love these this is a great size for me again you can use it as a wallet a coin purse um, a keychain thing you can use it uh, for an accessory pouch in your bags you can hook it onto your bag as an external added storage you can so many things i just love it it does have a clear id window on the back that's accessible from the inside so you go inside and there's a slot there again very metro or zip id like um, so there, you know, it's basically similar. I don't even say it's the same. It's got the same name, but this has a loop on the other side, a cloth loop. So basically it has loops on both sides. So you can move this clip to the other side if that's your preference, or you can add another loop and even use it as a little baby crossbody. Um, you could put a wristlet strap on there and have your wristlets, your little wallet and your keys hooked onto that. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on. But I do love it. It does come obviously with a little card. This one just says live life in color. I'll put that aside. Um, inside this one is love stripe black. So there you go, plain black. It has the mermaid quilting. It has a little depth to it, so it can definitely hold a lot of stuff. And it has that beautiful embedded gunmetal love in cursive. So I really, really like these a lot. I am not gonna get them in every single pattern but I did buy five right off the bat. So I got black, I got butterfly gray, oh, now they're all tangled up. Butterfly gray, which is of course the gray with the purple and teal butterflies. And inside you have that lattice sort of pattern. Then I got Paws Navy Custodies. Love, love, love the doggies, huh Kelly? Yeah. Inside has the tan color with hearts. I thought the regular Paws Navy had also bones and stuff too. But anyways, it's just hearts and has lug on there in some spots. Little Navy hearts. Super cute. Kelly likes it. And then purple because my favorite color. This is actually called violet. They all have that mermaid quilting. You can see it a little better on this one. Um, but they're all the same. And this one has, of course, that um, floral interior with the multicolors with all the fluorescence. And I also got Ocean Blue, because purple and teal, I love, I love a lot. But while we're on the topic of purple and blue and mermaid quilting, guess what else I got? The Coop, hello Coop. And you can see that Ocean Blue is not exactly the same. It's a little bluer and this one's a little greener, but still goes very well in my opinion together. And the purple is more of a conquered and the violet is a, a brighter purple, but even so, I would still carry those together because I don't have to be perfect. Not all the time, anyway. <laughs> all right, so the coop, the, the house bag, the whatever, coop nation. I got a bunch of them. I do use them. Sometimes I'll use them as a wristlet, sometimes a little crossbody, sometimes I'll use it. I haven't used it much as a belt bag, honestly. Although there's the strap things you could, um, but I use it a lot as an organizational piece, like inside a bigger bag, especially when traveling or going to parks and stuff. But um, this one comes right at the tail end of. I spent the summer with uh, my family and my niece, who's eight and love, love, loves mermaids. So I did get her this matching set as well. So yeah, we're gonna be twinsies yet again, but that's not why I got it. I love purple and teal. And I do like the mermaid quilting and it's kind of unique and different and very nautical for me. But the purple and teal is what sold me. Um, so I got my little matching set, the hopper and the coupe. 
to go together. And um, we'll finish looking at the coop before we go on to the hopper. But I did get that for her. And she's a petite little thing. Um, so that'll be a great addition to her backpack collection for school and whatnot. Um, but there you go. So the front of the two pocketed things does have a fabric zipper pull. The front pocket has, of course, the strap, which is a nice, good size strap. We have the card. And then inside is Stars and Shells sand, I think it's called. That's the Stars and Shells print, which if you think about Mermaid's nautical, that totally makes sense. Plus, that teals goes with the outside. So that makes sense to me. And I will, I will say that's a good thing. Oops, got that all twisted up. Okay, so there's that. The back pocket is a privacy zipper and a single clear ID window, but it has the same lining. And there you go. So it does have loops on both sides to carry it. You could do a lot with that. It does seem like a little bit, I don't wanna say wonky selling. It will, it'll do. It's imperfect, but okay. And then the hopper. I used this bag quite a lot actually for Disney Parks. It was my go-to bag for Hollywood Studios. Actually, I had the black large dot one, and then I put Mickey stuff. Anyways, it worked great. Um, but this one is Mermaid. So a couple things. On the top, you have this little fabric loop. I use that as where I hang my bag charms. It's really perfect. It's out of the way. It's not having to go around this big bulky top handle, which I do like. It's very padded, has that mesh bottom. like it a lot. Um, but you can put a bag charm there or something else. You can put your eyeglass strap through there and hang those there if you wanted. Not my choice. This pocket right here goes all the way to the bottom. So it's kind of a flat pocket, but it does have some give and definitely some space. And then the bottom pocket here, which doesn't have much of a gusset to itself. A little bit maybe, but but yeah, and if you put bulky things here and bulky things here, then that's stackable space. So you're gonna be conflicting with each other and or it'll push into the interior of the bag as well. Uh, but this is interesting. It does have Stars and Shells Navy interior, or not Stars and Shells Navy, Stars and Shells sand, just like the coupe did. Uh, but these zippers are purple. So it's just that whole purple and teal everywhere. I really am loving it. Um, the zipper pulls are still gunmetal and I like that too. I'm happy with it just the way it is. It has the plastic coated bottom, which is color blocks. You have the teal here and you got the purple on the sides. You got the pockets or magnet closure on there. You got the top handle. Then you look at the back again, you got you know purple on the front, teal on the back. You got purple on your no slip grippies. You got the mesh padded back, which is nice, very breathable. It's just not ergonomically shaped straps. But this is a very comfortable bag to carry around like all day at the park, no problem. Easy on and off, very adjustable. The straps pretty much stayed where I put them. I didn't have any issues with that. The straps, by the way, do have this little sliding elastic to hold your loose end. So if you're small and you have it pulled in, for me, mine's mostly all the way out. So because I like my backpacks to hang loose and low, especially if I'm at the park all day because um, that gets more air flowing. That's just my experience. And then you have this pocket here on the back, which of course is a big, huge pocket that goes all the way across. It is soft lined, but it goes all the way across. A nice big pocket. And then inside you also have a key elastic with a clip on it. So your key bungee. All right. So that's it for the outside pockets, except for the signature cell phone pocket on the top, which fits very nicely. All my phone or your sunglasses or whatever. Inside, you have a clear view pocket on the top half. The bottom half, you have an elastic slip or a cargo pocket. On the back, you have one big um, elastic cargo pocket. And then inside of that, you have this other organization piece. And it has two, it's hard to show. It has two, two slips down here. So you can use it for um, like pen, a little notebooks. You can put um, skinny stuff. You can put cards there. You can put sunglasses there. You can put, um, I don't think this will fit there. Well, it does actually. So if you didn't want that sliding around, that slips inside that front pocket on there. That fits perfectly actually. So there you go. You can use it for whatever you want or don't. 
And then the bag itself, it is a, I would say small to medium sized backpack, maybe medium, but it fits a lot. It's, it's very sizable actually, much more than you would think when you look at it. You think, oh, that's just a little backpack. The bigger like me, if a backpack's too small, it just looks really awkward. Um, but this is a good size. This is a great size for day trips and whatnot. I could do a weekend trip in this for overnight, whatever. All right, so that is it for this haul. I hope that all of your orders are coming. I know some people had stuff canceled like from a Halloween week. I'm really sorry that happened. It really sucks. I know that you get your heart set on what you bought, especially if it's gifts, which tis the season. Um, but hopefully you're getting most of what you ordered and you like what you got. That's my wish for you. Bye for now.